Hello, welcome to this section of Mastering Statistics. Uh, here we're going to continue the concept of calculating the mean, something I know you've done before. We've talked about the sample mean and we've talked about the population mean in the previous section, so I'm going to leave these equations on the board. Now we want to do a couple of quick problems. So what I'm going to do is slide this board over and uh, what we want to do is find, to practice here, the mean of the following data. Five, seven, 8, 10, 4, 3, 12. And so we want to find the mean of this guy. And these are presumably samples, right? Because this is a very small amount here. So we will say that x bar, which is our sample mean, we're going to add all these guys up. 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 10 plus 4 plus 3 plus 12. And then after we get that, we're going to divide the whole thing by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 values here. Now, this is exactly what the sample mean says, right? We add up all of the values and we divide by the number of samples that we have. So that's exactly what we have done here. So when we do this, uh, what we're going to get is, on the top, you'll get 49 over 7. So x bar is 7. And this is what you would circle on your paper. So this is the sample mean of this set of samples here is going to be 7. Now, for the next problem, for the next problem, it's basically more of the same, just giving you a little more practice. Find the mean of the following baby weights. So baby birth weights, right? So we have 6.8, we have 9 9.1, 8.7, 7.5, 8.2, 5.4, 6.5, 8.5, 7.3, 6.6, 6 5.9, 7.3, 9.3, 7.5, and 7.8. Now you notice I give you a lot of values uh, here, and that's on purpose. Uh, so what we're going to have is the sample mean. Uh, notice it would be very, very lengthy to write out 6.8 plus 9.1 plus 8.7 and do all, it would just go on and on and on and on and on. So we're going to use our little shorthand notation, which means the sum of the x values over n, which is the number. And so what I'm going to do, this is going to mean I'm going to add up all of these things. So if you go in a calculator and you add all these things together, all of them together, what you're going to get is 112.4. And then if you add these up, you're going to have uh, 15 samples. And so what you'll get is 7.49. That is the sample mean. So these calculations are not difficult. I know that you have um, already learned in a long time ago how to calculate the average value of something. It's not really a big deal, but it's still important for you to understand the difference between the population mean and the sample mean, uh, the symbols involved and things like that. Now one more thing I do want to show you before we close is something that you may or may not have seen before, and that's called a weighted mean, a weighted mean. That is something that you can see occasionally, especially when you calculate grades and things like that. So a weighted mean, let's write it down, weighted mean. All right. And so what basically this is, it is a mean, but it is when each value of your, of your data set is not equally important. 